What's up mobile devs? Today we are going to understand the basics of the PAN gesture handler component from the React Native gesture handler package. Of course, we will also play around with the animation using React Native Reanimated. We will build a nice animation with a circle and a square. The purpose of the animation will be to be able to drag the square in and out of the circle. When the square is released inside the circle, the spring animation will be handled. Instead, when the square is released outside the circle, the behavior remains the default of a pan gesture. So, let's start this tutorial. So, here I have just uh, created an Expo project with Expo CLI and uh, I used the TypeScript configuration. And uh, I have already installed the React Native Reanimated package and the React Native Gesture Handler. React Native Gesture Handler will provide us uh, our PAN Gesture Handler component. And the React Native Reanimated will provide us the way to animate the square along the view. Uh, I've also added, of course, the React Native Reanimated plugin um, that uh, will enable the, gesture, the worklet function. So uh, let's start, uh, I want to start from the square uh, in the middle of the screen. So let's start to define the square size, so size equal to 100. Uh, let's define our style, so width equal to size, height equal to size. Uh, and let's define our background color equal to blue. So uh, our square will be an animated view, animated uh, view import uh, with the animated imported from React Native Reanimated. And uh, let's pass to the animated view our styles.square. Uh, so just uh, let's just uh, change the color. I will use uh, uh, RGB dot uh, RGB notation. So zero zero blue uh, zero uh, red will be zero green will be will be zero and the blue will be uh, 256 and i will just add uh, uh, 0.5 opacity uh, so let's add border radius uh, of 20 just for fun so we need to move around the, the square how to do it uh, of course we need to import our pan gesture handler so let's import it. The pan gesture handler will be imported from a React Native uh, gesture handler. And let's wrap our square with the pan gesture handler. So, uh, of course, uh, uh, right now we cannot uh, uh, drag uh, our square. To do it, we need to provide the on gesture uh, event property to the pan gesture handler. Uh, so um, let's uh, let's start to create uh, our pan gesture event. Uh, our pan gesture event uh, will be handled from uh, a particular hook from React Native Reanimated. So we will use the use animated gesture handler. Use animated gesture handler is a hook that provides us uh, some callbacks. We can uh, have the on start callback to handle the uh, to handle when we touch for the first time the square. We can handle the on active callback uh, when we drag the square along the view, and uh, we can uh, uh, we can use the on end callback. Of course, uh, uh, we will use just uh, this uh, three callback, but uh, use animated gesture handler provide us uh, much more method to. Uh, much more callbacks uh, like uh, on cancel, on fail, and on finish. Uh, so uh, we are using uh, TypeScript and uh, is a good practice uh, to specify the type. Uh, with the use animated gesture handler, we can uh, handle much more than a pan gesture handler. We can handle, for example, uh, a pinch gesture handler. So uh, the callbacks will change uh, and the event that we are handling with the, uh, those callbacks will, will change with a different time a type. So let's uh, specify that we want to handle a pan gesture handler by passing the pass pan gesture handler gesture event. So uh, with the, every callback, we can access the event 
that will be a pan event and uh, with each event we can access uh, we can uh, we can access uh, the uh, event translation x and translation y so let's start to handle uh, our uh, horizontal pan uh, so let's try uh, first to uh, animate to drag the square uh, along the horizontal axis to do it we need to define a shared value that will um, that uh, it will call the uh, translate x and let's define the initial value equal to zero when the pan gesture handler is active so when the pan is active we need to update our shared value with the event dot translation dot x so let's say translate x dot value equal to event dot dot translation x our last step is to pass the translate x uh, to uh, the animated view and to do it we need to create a reanimated style so let's uh, say our style equal to use animated style use animated style will return a style and uh, here we need to pass the uh, translate value so translate x So we need just to add our reanimated style to the square. And uh, uh, right now it uh, will not work because uh, we need to pass our pan gesture event to the on gesture property of the pan gesture handler. So on gesture event equal to pan gesture event. Right now it should work. So right now something is missing uh, every time that we are moving the square the square will always start to translate from the origin of the screen so from the middle of the screen that's why uh, every time that we are uh, moving the square around we are not uh, keep uh, keeping the old the previous position the translate x previous position so we need an object to store this property and uh, thankfully uh, with the use animated gesture handler hook uh, we can do it uh, and that's why that's because uh, use animated gesture handler will provide us uh, a context for each callback uh, where we can store our previous values so just to understand it better let's uh, let's see in practice uh, uh, what is a context a context is just an object and uh, it is an object where we can store uh, some value so let's say context.translate x equal to translate x dot value so each time we touch the square we need to store our translate x value in our context and uh, when we drag effectively the, the square we need to retrieve the previous uh, translate x value and uh, some to the current translate uh, uh, x value so let's say context dot translate x so right now typescript is uh, complaining about uh, uh, the context object and that's why we didn't spe specify our context uh, type so let's uh, define our context uh, interface and let's specify translate x uh, uh, of type number we need to pass our context interface as a, a second type uh, in the use animated gesture handler so let's say context interface right here and typescript uh, is not complaining so uh, context uh, interface should be a type so not an interface so let's say context context type equal to translate x so everything is working right now so let's see if uh, the square is moving nicely so we can see that we are storing we are keeping the previous uh, translate x position so to deal with the, the y-axis we just need to uh, replicate this code 
So let's define our translate y with, um, as a shared value with an initial value of 0. Let's uh, uh, handle the onactive callback with our translate y. And let's handle the onStart callback. Uh, so we need to add uh, in the context type uh, also the translate y number, uh, translate y uh, value as a number. And the last step is just to uh, add our translate y in the transform, so in the style of the, in the reanimate style. So let's say translate y equal to translate y dot value. So everything is working fine. We can move around the, uh, the, the square. So what is missing? Uh, of course, we need to make our circle. And uh, our last thing is, of course, to uh, deal with the spring animation that will uh, bring the, the square in the middle of the screen. So let's start with our spring animation. Our spring animation will uh, uh, trigger, so will start uh, when we uh, release our square. So uh, to deal with the release event, we can use the onEnd callback. So actually here we don't need the event. Uh, we need to deal with our onEnd callback and uh, uh, what we need to do. Basically, when, the, when we release our square, we just need to set our translate x value equal to 0 and our translate y value equal to 0. So let's see if it's working. So we can see that the square is updating uh, and uh, uh, it returns back to the middle of the screen. To animate it properly, we can use the with spring utility. So actually, if you are not familiar with uh, this kind of uh, uh, utilities, like with spring, like with timing, uh, also, for example, use animated style and the use shared value, uh, I highly recommend you to check out my previous uh, video uh, about uh, reanimated too. So let's see if uh, everything is working. And yes, we can see that uh, the animation uh, is working fine. So uh, our last step is to handle the circle. So how to, uh, to create the circle, we don't need uh, reanimated. We just need a simple view from React Native. So let's wrap our animated view with a view, a React Native view. And uh, let's, uh, let's start to, to define our circle radius. Let's say the circle radius will be equal to size uh, multiplied by 2. And uh, let's define our uh, circle style. So first of all, the width will be equal to circle radius uh, multiplied by 2. The height will be equal to circle radius multiplied by 2. And uh, just uh, to see what's going on, let's define also a background color. So we need to pass uh, this uh, style to the React Native view, of course. Okay, so uh, right now we need to center our uh, our square in the middle of the screen. Just uh, I will just write align items and justify content equal to center. We need to uh, make uh, this uh, red square as a circle. So let's say border radius equal to circle radius. And uh, we need to deal with uh, our border. So I will just say border width equal to 5. And border color equal to the previous color of the square. So right now we can uh, uh, get rid of uh, our background uh, red color and everything is settled fine. So what is missing? Oh, the, okay, that uh, something uh, that, uh, so right now we can see that uh, uh, there is an issue. What is the issue? So uh, we want to wrap our pan, we want to um, handle the, the pan for the square, but right now we are wrapping uh, our circle 
and our square. And uh, that should not uh, uh, trigger an error. Uh, why there is an error? There is an error because the view is uh, a React Native view. But when we are dealing with a Pandrash handler, we need to uh, wrap just an animated view. So even if uh, we want to wrap a circle, the entire circle, we need to make the circle as an animated view. So right now, uh, that is just a mistake in our case. We don't want to drag our circle. We just want to drag our, our square. So we can put the uh, we can put the the view the circle outside the Pandas render. So let's see if it's working, and we can see that everything is working fine right now. So uh, our final uh, step is to uh, handle properly the spring animation. So actually, we want that the spring animation is uh, called just when the square is uh, contained in our circle. So when the square is outside the circle itself, the square, when uh, the square is uh, released, it, it, uh, it should stay outside the circle. So uh, we, we just need to add an if statement in uh, our on-end callback. So what kind of uh, condition we, sh we should put? We should just analyze if our distance is uh, bigger than the circle radius. If our distance is uh, bigger than the circle radius, uh, we, we should stay outside, so we should do nothing. If our uh, distance is less, uh, is uh, smaller than the circle radius, uh, we should trigger the spring animation. So if distance is uh, uh, less than circle radius, the width spring should be called. So right now we need to define our distance, how to uh, handle this uh, distance. We can uh, uh, calculate easily the distance with the uh, Pythagorean theorem. So the distance will be equal to uh, square root of the translate x dot value squared plus translate x uh, translate y dot value squared. Let's see. Let's see if everything is working fine. So when we are inside the circle, everything is working fine. When we are outside and we are releasing the the square, the square stay outside of the circle. So there is a, a, an edge case when we put the square partially outside the circle, it stay uh, outside. But when the center of the square is uh, inside the circle, the square uh, returns back. So uh, we want actually that uh, the uh, entire square uh, is uh, stay outside the circle. And uh, to do that, uh, we, need to, uh, we need to check uh, uh, an additional distance, that is the half uh, of the of the square size so we need to handle uh, as a we, we need to um, check if our distance is uh, less than the circle radius plus our uh, alpha alf of the square size so let's check size divided by 2 uh, that is our circle uh, si uh, square size so when we are inside, it is working. When it is almost inside, it is working. And when it is outside, the square uh, keeps out, uh, stays out uh, uh, the, the circle. So uh, I think that's all for uh, this tutorial. I hope that uh, the tutorial was clear. Uh, if you have any advice, uh, uh, feel free to, to leave a comment. And uh, if you like uh, this tutorial, uh, remember to subscribe to the channel.